D.C.-ish area. I'm here, all right? Actually, I'm out in Silver Spring. Uh, I'm looking for all the black-owned restaurants to come try out. And you guys are extremely vocal about where I should go and where I shouldn't go. This one kind of hit right down the middle of the road. Half of y'all said, come check it out. Half of y'all said, Darius, run. Half of y'all said, just get the drinks. Half of y'all said, don't even, even try it. All right, so I'm here for Sunday. They've got a beautiful brunch. I've never been. I'm excited to go see exactly what's on the menu. What's got y'all all in an uproar? So let's go ahead and check out Miss Toya's Creole House. Alright, I'm gonna get quite a few things. So let's start with the Creole spinach dip. Okay. Did you wanna add any fried beans? I don't need to, uh-uh. Okay. The spinach dip, the fried green tomatoes, the bayou rolls, the Creole wings, the barbecue shrimp, are those deveined? Deveined. So they have the vein in them? Uh, okay, question for you. I would love to order that, but I don't wanna have to clean my own shrimp. Is it possible to ask if they could be veined the shrimp? I can ask them, but I'm not sure. Yeah, just ask. It's an ask. It would determine if I get it or not. Um, the same on the voodoo shrimp as well. The voodoo shrimp is. That is deveined. What's the difference in the barbecue shrimp and the voodoo shrimp? Why one's deveined and one's not? Just curious. The voodoo shrimp is fried and the um, barbecue shrimp is not. Okay, so the voodoo shrimp is fried. Mm -hmm. So, sorry, I'm asking a dumb question. Do you hand batter the fry here, or is it already, because it come in already battered? No, we hand batter it. Hmm. So why can't you take some of the shrimp that you would use for the voodoo and just put it with the, bar the New Orleans barbecue? Just curious. I can ask that. Yeah, yeah, if you can ask, that would be great. And then, um, on the voodoo, no blue cheese, please. Um, For your wings, do you want them fried or grilled? Fried or grilled. What's the best way? Grilled. Grilled. Then if that's the best way, that's what I want. Do you want a flavor? What's the best one? This is my first time, so I don't the know. The hot honey bourbon. If that's the best one, that's the one I want, baby. Okay. All right, and then why don't I try an order of the, well, shrimp and grits. Would I have shrimp Devane on the shrimp and grits? Okay. Yeah, okay, cool. That's, and then... In order of the chicken and waffles. Was this home? And I'll be right back. Okay. okay. All right. So we are here. Um, it's a camera. Um, so you can detect a little spiciness happening. Um, I don't know if word has circulated that I'm here or, you know, I don't know. And I don't want to speculate as to what I think is going on. So. I like it to just be nice and ask questions, certain questions. It is. So I'll put the New Orleans and the shrimp and grits in. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, and then let me ask you a question, Drea, on drinks. Mm -hmm. uh, do you guys have sweet tea and lemonade? What do you have? Yeah, both. Um, are they homemade? Or mm -hmm. is it, okay, good. Can I have two sweet teas and one lemonade, please? Mm -hmm. Thank you. No All right. Okay, so you can say what you want about my attitude. I always come in super positive. I think you guys read these, you look at these um, reels and maybe you read the reels backwards, I'm not quite sure. Who knows, child? But you, I, I can tell you ain't watched and review. That, I can tell you that much. Anyway, uh, so I come in with an open mind. Um, you know, sort of nice. And you know, you're sort of met with it's not the same as Q1227 in Sacramento. Q1227 in Sacramento, black owned. You walk in and, oh, hi, welcome. Here it's just like, child, what you doing here? What you want? You know what I'm saying? So that's just the way it is. It is what happens. So uh, let's check out these drinks. You're good. Y'all fine. Good or bad? <laughs> I'm, at this point, I'm used to it, okay? <laughs> I'm used to it. 
Why you say that? It's your first time? Yeah. Mine too. Yeah, mine too. So we'll see. All right, so uh, you're watching this review. I'm live on Instagram at the same time. There's a process to how this goes. You know, Corey does a great job of editing, but we have to wait till all the food comes. So I'm just going to give you my thoughts. Oh, speaking of, well, hold on. Let's get the drinks from Drea first. Iced tea. Lemonade. So it was two sweet teas and one lemonade because I know he prefers a sweet tea over a lemonade. So oh, the, I'm sorry. it's okay. It's, it's okay. Uh uh. It was two sweet teas and one lemonade. Okay. Yep. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Appreciate it. No All right. So I'm being extra nice um, because the attitudes are a little spicy. But um, okay. First looks. First thought. Right. So here's what I'm looking at. When I, when I look at a menu, I look at a place, um, especially a place I've never been before because I didn't look at any of the reviews. Um, you know, so the name of it is Miss Toya's, first of all. So I know it's going to be black owned, right? Because you rarely find white people named Toya, number one. Uh, but And you rarely find white people that you would call Miss Toya. And then Creole House speaks of uh, Cajun, New Orleans cuisine, right? So I'm looking at the menu. I'm just saying, okay, great. What looks good? from a New Orleans perspective, okay? Crab Cake Benedict, doesn't really speak a lot to New Orleans. Steak and Eggs, doesn't speak a lot to New Orleans. Lamb Chops and Eggs, doesn't speak a lot to New Orleans. Yeah, you drop it all down in the middle, that's fine. Thank you. Uh-oh, be careful. Thank you, appreciate it. Um, all right, so fish and grits, I mean, I guess that can be kind of New Orleans, I guess. French toast breakfast, seafood, almond chicken, and waffles. So again, for this to be, you know, a popular spot for brunch and it's a Creole spot, you know, in my mind, I'm just going, where's the Creole, right? You have a Bayou roll, which is really just, I ordered it. It's just chicken, peppers, cheese, wrapped in an egg roll, right? You got Creole wings that you're saying is Creole. So again, you know, when you guys are asking me, oh, Darius, a creativity, what are you basing creativity on? Creativity, right? <laughs> it's plain and simple, is a creative. What about this speaks to the idea of being in New Orleans? Can I take this whole table up, move this table, put it on Chopper Shoeless, put it on Magazine Street, put it on Poitras, can I put it there and it feels like it's right at home? And if I can't do that, right, is it really what we would call, you know what I mean? So just a little tidbit that I wanted to give you regarding, and I have not had an edible, um, I have not eaten, so I am hungry, but I'm super focused, so this review is gonna be super laser pretty much about everything that's gonna be in front of me, all right? So let's talk about this food. This is the shrimp and grits. This is the New Orleans barbecue shrimp. These are the fried green tomatoes. These are the grilled Hennessy honey wings. This is the voodoo shrimp. This is the Creole spinach dip. Did I, I didn't order the bayou rolls, did I? Can you put an order in those for me? Perfect, thank you so much. All right, let's roll this, okay? Let's try this sweet tea and this lemonade. Let me let you know what I think. It's homemade. They're okay by themselves. Mix them together, you'll probably get a better outcome. It's solid, it's okay. It's like a four out of five on both. I'm not really complaining about either of those necessarily. All right, let's try the, so you get a mound of spinach dip and you get 12 chips to dip it in. So that's cool. As long as there's just a few of you, you'll be fine. Okay, so I saw this someplace else. I thought this is very interesting. So look, this is what they do here. So they make the spinach dip, right? And then they put the cheese on top and they melt the cheese. So you basically can pull apart the cheese. This is what I mean, look at this, right? So you get the whole glob of cheese that comes up and the dip is still left behind. I noticed that at um, Creole on 14th. So I don't know if this is a, they do this in DC at Creole restaurants or this is what they get from New Orleans. I'm not quite sure. When we get to New Orleans, I'll let you know. All right, but I'm just pointing out the things that I see to you, okay? Mm. And it's good. 
chips are different. These ain't regular tortilla chips. They're like flour tortillas, and they've been fried. Yeah, this is good. Four and a half out of five. Four and a half <laughs> out of five. It's creamy. It's what you would expect from a spinach dip. That clunk of cheese is all pudding, but other than that, no real issues there. All right, now this comes with, this is the voodoo shrimp. It comes with these jalapeno slices. I don't know who's eating that. But it also has, um, I think the original menu comes with like blue cheese crumbles or something like that. I'm good on that. Do you know that I don't like blue cheese? This is things I don't eat. Blue cheese, eggs, eggplant. It's stuff you don't eat either. Oh. Mm. Yeah, I don't like that. Okay, let me tell you what I'm getting in my mouth. Really shrimpy shrimp, and I'm being watched. <laughs> God. I get really shrimpy shrimpy shrimp and pungent buffalo, almost like vinegary hot sauce. So I want you in your mind to think, pungent, we've all had shrimp that's been too shrimpy, right? Doesn't mean it's spoiled, it just means it's a really, I don't know if the shrimp lived a good life. I don't know if the shrimp accepted Christ at an early age. I'm not quite sure, but it's really shrimpy with that vinegar. So that taste is like unpleasant. If it was like a scallop, you know, like mild, it might be a little better, but it's like a two out of five for me. I don't like that combination at all. I'm so sorry. All right, these are the grilled wings. These look interesting. It makes me wonder if they grilled these themselves. Thank you. You can put it right there for me. Thank you. Makes me wonder if they grilled it. Um, I'm looking at the edge of this waffle and this. Uh, I'll show you. I'll, I'll show you when we get to it. I'll show you. I'll show you when we get to it. All right. I'll show you what's going on. It makes me wonder if these are grilled like from from scratch. You, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you. I don't know if you guys know this, but there's shortcuts in the food service industry. Places like U.S. Foods, places like Cisco. They sell wings that are already grilled. All you gotta do is finish the grilling and then sauce them, but the quality lacks, right? And you can tell the difference between the two. So I don't know if this is that or not, but I'm just letting you know it could be a possibility. You know what though? It ain't that bad. The sauce helps. The char could be a little too much if you don't like that char flavor. But these are grilled, not smoked. So think propane tank, not charcoal grill. Okay? Think propane tank, not charcoal. These are right. We need a little ranch dip these in though. They're right. Four out of five. What I like, I like. I'll say one thing this ever got. It's music, okay? Me and Mrs. Jones. What we got? We got a thing going up. Okay. This is a cut. You got to hear um, George Huff's version of this song. He kills this. Going on. Okay, let me try the barbecue shrimp. This is like no barbecue shrimp I've ever seen in my life. This is like that whiskey shrimp from um, 1799 the other day. Let me try this sauce. I don't know you. Hi, how are you? Yes, that's fine. I want all the hugs. Uh -huh. Hi. Hi. How are you? It's a pleasure to meet you. 
Ooh. And normally I wait till I get done, but you know, knew, it's I fine. Said, no, I had to come hug you. No, that's fine. I'm nervous. I don't. I'm all. I want y'all. Yes, ma'am. Get the phone. We'll do a selfie. I'm going to do it. I know you don't know how to do it. Push, pull the camera up. I'm going to do it for you. Pull the camera up. Listen, the only time I ever... That's your messages. It's not your camera now. Hold on, hold on. That's the camera. There you go. Now, I'm going to do it. I can't even live. I see yeah, it's me. I love you know I cut up. You know I, I act a fool. You know. And I'm over here cutting up right now. And I'm live on Instagram acting a fool, too. Come on. There you go. Thank it's you. such a pleasure meeting you, okay? I do. Thank you for following. I appreciate it. All right. That's Miss Deborah. You know, when, when the elders come, honey, you just do what the, you do what they say. Those are listen. I'm popular with the aunties. You know, I'm popular. When they when they show up, because they're the ones buying skillets. They're the ones buying pots, pans, skillets, knives, cutting boards, glasses, dining with Darius cooks. Them the ones. You see what I'm saying? So I know what side my bread is buttered on. And when they show up, and she says she's got a church, yes, ma'am. Come on, let me give, give give me your hug. I want it. I'm gonna finish this, but this is the I'm gonna show you that this is the uh, voodoo rolls right here. Okay, uh, now back to the scheduled program. I mean, it's good. Don't get me wrong. It's just not New Orleans barbecue shrimp I'm used to seeing. Now, granted. I didn't grow up in New or Orleans, but I, I know a thing or two. I don't know that much, but I know a thing or two about New Orleans. Yeah. The shrimp is very shrimpy. Even in this, the shrimp is very, very shrimpy. Which I don't know if these shrimp live the happy life or not. Babe, that shrimp is shrimpy. The New Orleans barbecue shrimp I'm used to, accustomed to seeing is, it's made with butter and Worcestershire. Tons of garlic, onion, bell pepper, celery is a must, right? Um, you saute that down in nothing but like pure butter, and so all those flavors melt. Then you add in that garlic, and then you add in your seasonings. You gotta put in a little slap your mama, a little Tony Satchery's, you know how y'all do in New Orleans. And then you put that Worcestershire in there, and that's what gives it that beautiful sort of barbecue-y flavor, right? And then that sauce is beautiful and rich. And if you want, maybe you do a little bit of heavy cream in there so you have a little sauce to drag through, which is, a, that's a modern take. Normally, it's just the butter sauce. So, again, listen, I didn't grow up in New Orleans, so don't take my word for it, okay? But that's like a four out of five. Is it bad? No. Would you like it? Yeah. Um, how traditional it is for New Orleans? I don't know. And then... Look at the plate. This tired garnish of this lettuce really gets on my nerve. You got to find you got to find something else better to do. A garnish, you're supposed to be able to eat the garnish, right? Why is the garnish on the plate if I ain't supposed to be able to eat it? So a touch of parsley is fine because I can eat that. A stack of something fried and put to you know we can deal with that. Girl, this little tired lettuce. What is this? Subway? Eat fresh? Why do I want this lettuce? What am I? Where are we at? Quiznos? What is happening here with this lettuce? Okay, that's be my only gripe, my only concern be that lettuce. Toya, let this soul roll be good, Jesus. You gotta pray without ceasing. And then what Samuel told Saul or David told Goliath or something. It's all right. Everything I'm gonna be in a goddamn egg roll. It's all right, trial. I just don't think everything, I think we just getting over the stuffed salmon craze where we gotta put everything in fish, honey, and I'm guilty. Cause I put a collard grain in anything. I think we getting over that. I think we, we just go to change.org and do a petition to get rid of these egg rolls. Not that it's horrible, cause it's not horrible. It's just that everything don't need to be no egg roll. This could have been a beautiful composed dish, you know? Or if it's gonna be in the egg roll, it needs to be sexy and it needs to be ooey and it needs to be good like their characteristics it's just as a read it's just it's just okay so that's that becomes that becomes just the issue we're fine yep that becomes just the issue is it just it just reads okay i mean you know it's like a three s average it ain't nothing to really write home about but you know all right let's try the you see what i mean the attitude 
Probably, she she definitely looks spicy over there. That one over there. She's spicy as hell. All right, come on, Corby, get in this bowl for me real fast. So, you can see the grits, right? I can like literally pick them up like this. All right. Now these grits, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sit up here and, and not be fair. They have been sitting a pair of minutes, you know, two or three, three or four. I wonder if this is that same sauce on that. What sauce is this? Oh, this sauce good. Is it a rooster in here? I heard that too. Okay, this sauce good. This sauce better than that other one. I don't want no more of these shrimp though. Okay, it's all right. It's okay. The sauce is good. The shrimp is cold. The grits are cold. The sauce is all right. It's, it's an average plate of shrimp and grits. Is there anything to write home about? No. Is it anything horrific? No. Well, you like it, probably. But it just reads average. If you're looking for, you know, amazing, outstanding creativity, you probably will not find it. But let's try this chicken and waffle, though. I'm making myself an Arnold Palmer. Yeah, the move is to mix the two together. I need one of them to go. Okay, this Thai flour, which I think is cute. If I had hair or something, you know, I could stick it someplace, but I don't really have no hair on my head. I got, you know, and I don't know if it's gonna stay. How's that? Okay. Isn't that cute? Oh, I don't have any hair. I can't, oh, it just fell. I don't really have any hair on my head, so I know I could. Okay, you get five wingdings that are barely fried with the, with the stuff falling off with some white stuff on here. It's probably melted powdered sugar. Chow. Some day old strawberries and some blueberries that need Jesus. Let me try this fried chicken at least. It's all right. Oh, I can't eat this. Uh-uh. Let me show Instagram at the same time, I'm sure y'all. But y'all be like, oh, he got an attitude. Look at this. I can't eat that. All right, I'm not eating that. They did not clean that grill, that griddle. Please check the underside of your waffles. They done sent me this waffle. I will not be tasting that, no thank you. And they overstuffed the waffle because you got all this here coming out. They didn't clean it off properly, and the underside of that waffle maker is dirty as I don't know what. Okay. Yeah. Nope. That will get a zero out of five for me on that, not having it. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I can't go for it. Certain things I go for. Now see what I'm saying, look at them. Green tomatoes, a schmear sauce, and four more pieces of lettuce on here. All right, let's go. Crunchy, season, not bad at all. Three and a half out of five. I would love to see a little bit more creativity, perhaps a little bit more of a sauce, something on top, different garnish, things like that. You know, chef inspired would be nice, right? Not just like home cook inspired. So there you have it. I think I've gone through just about everything we can that's on the table. Let's go outside, let me give you my final thoughts. Y'all have a good day. Oh, come on. Come on, get one. Right after you done talk shit about me, now you wanna talk to your mother. Give, give him the phone, here. Uh, the phone. Y'all from out here. I'm from DC, we from DC. 
I can tell. I've been feeding people all weekend, and they say uh, scallops. This is what y'all scallops. This is the way the way y'all talk out here is so funny to me. I love it. Yeah, I'm on live live on Instagram. Hey y'all. Girl, they can't see you. They just. Praise the Lord. Oh God. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. All right, ladies. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Enjoy. Well, we have done it. Another black-owned restaurant in the books. This one's a really interesting one, right? Obviously, a lot of hits and misses. A few more um, hits than there were uh, misses, but we did it. We accomplished it. A couple things I like. And again, maybe because I'm on a Sunday, it might be a brunch menu, um, but there are certain things to stay away from. The sauce on the shrimp and grits is amazing. The grits, Joe, and the execution just kind of fell flat for me. The sweet tea and lemonade mixed together, outstanding, 18 out of five. Uh, that chicken and waffle, just check the underside of that waffle, make sure that waffle maker is clean for you digging into those waffles. Just come try it out for yourself. It just gives me just a slightly below average, so like a two out of five for me, but places like this, I mean, they're doing just fine the way they are and they do not need my love, my support, or my dollars, they need yours. So come on out here in Silver Spring, Maryland, bring all three, um, come check them out. And when you get done, come in the inbox, come in the DMs, come in the comment section, because you're very vocal and let me know exactly what you thought. Come check them out, y'all. Miss Toya's Creole House.